Hi everyone. Today we're going to do a lab on second harmonic generation, which is a type of nonlinear optics. Since we've decided it's not safe for you to do this experiment in my lab without me being there, I'm going to run through it with equipment here at Lawrence Berkeley Lab. Second harmonic generation is a nonlinear phenomenon. At very high power intensities, the polarization is no longer proportional to the electric field. In fact, usually we can express the polarization as a power series in the electric field. The first nonlinear term is the second order term, and that gives rise to a polarization that's proportional to the electric field squared. That can be the basis of second harmonic generation. If the electric field oscillates at frequency omega, then the polarization will have a component at twice that frequency, and that oscillating polarization will be a source of radiation. Thus, if a high-intensity beam at, say, 800 nanometer wavelength passes through a crystal with a large second-order nonlinear coefficient, it can lead to generation of a beam at 400 nanometers. So red light is converted partially to blue light. That's second harmonic generation. In our experiment, we'll get the necessary high intensities by using a femtosecond laser. In a femtosecond laser, very short pulses of radiation are emitted at some repetition rate. Thus, even though the average power may be low, the peak power will be much, much higher. This is a coherent Mira 900 femtosecond laser, which we'll use for the lab we're doing today. The laser produces a beam of light, actually a stream of pulses at 800 nanometers. 800 nanometers is too far into the red to easily see, but you can see the beam uh, quite easily on this fluorescent card. Right now, the beam is being reflected over to some mirrors and into a power meter, and we can read the power here. The average power is about 300 milliwatts. Alternately, we can add a folding mirror, which will bring the beam now into a harmonic generation unit. In the harmonic generation unit, the beam is brought to a lens, which focuses it onto a nonlinear crystal made of beta barium oxide, or BBO. After the BBO, the beam contains a bright component at um, 400 nanometers. This 400 nanometer beam is brought out and then brought through some additional mirrors and a filter to a power meter. And you can see that the average power in the 400 nanometer beam is about 16 milliwatts. The last feature of the experiment are a set of optical filters which we'll use to control the power from the femtosecond laser. So by rotating these selectors, we can choose optical filters to reduce the power getting through and going into the harmonic generation unit. And so the goal of our experiment is going to be to measure the second harmonic power as a function of the um, power in the original beam. This is 800 nanometers with no filter, 400 nanometers with no filter, 800 nanometers with filter 1, 400 nanometers with filter 1, 800 nanometers with filter 2, 400 nanometers with filter 2, 800 nanometers with filter 3, 400 nanometers with filter 3, and 800 nanometers with filter 4, and 400 nanometers with filter 4. Good luck!